And meanwhile, scientists uh, hope they have a huge treasure trove of data from yesterday's eclipse, including amateur photos like all of these, providing new insight into our solar system. They're getting help from teams of citizen scientists spread out along the path of totality. And Adriana Diaz is in Carbondale, Illinois, where there was a, a large contingent of these budding stargazers. Adriana, good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Yesterday, this campus was full of volunteer scientists and their telescopes. They were working as NASA's citizen army on a mission to collect as much data as possible on the eclipse. And that they did. Together, they produced more than 4,000 images, an astronomical amount. That's good. Did we check this balance too? As the day wore on, anticipation grew for the sublime spectacle that would last just two minutes and 27 seconds. So I think we just need to tilt this away from the sun and put our solar lens on so the camera doesn't get fried. But these teenagers' cosmic journey started much earlier. We're 10 hours away, so it's quite a drive, but it's definitely worth it to come and get to see something so amazing. Reba Doucette, like Elliot Iwin, and Alexis Cochran are from a Native American reservation school in northern Montana. They took a road trip with their science teacher, Janet Jorgensen, to the abandoned town of JM, Wyoming, to watch and study the eclipse. It's just an amazing opportunity for the kids because this is real life science and it helps them be exposed to what kind of opportunities there might be in the future. These students are one of 68 teams nationwide who participated in an amateur science experiment called Citizen Kate, volunteers with an extraordinary mission. We're trying to get pictures of the solar eclipse so we can study the corona, which is the light that comes on the edges. They're like solar flares and stuff that come off the sun that you can really only study when there's an eclipse. We can follow the shadow of the moon as it crosses the United States and take data sequentially, uh, sort of like in a little relay race. Matt Penn is the project's director. His team at Tucson's National Solar Observatory provided the volunteers with equipment and instructions for the astronomical undertaking. If the network works perfectly, we'll get 30 times the data of previous studies. Even if we have 50% participation, we'll get 10 times the amount of data. So it's going to be a big improvement either way. Oh my gosh. When the eclipse began, volunteers just had to press what go and the computer did the rest. Here in Carbondale, Illinois, they captured out of this world images like this so-called diamond ring effect. Oh, you could see it, you could see it. Back in Wyoming. <gasps> Look how dark Woo! it's getting. When the moment finally arrived, darkness descended on the town of JM. Look at the way the light comes off the sun there. And the sight they'd been waiting for revealed itself. A total solar eclipse. Yeah, it's taking pictures. Before they knew it, it was over. Right there. Right there. Right here. Oh my yeah, gosh. we got a few. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. But for these kids from a remote Native American reservation. <laughs> that is really pretty. When I'm talking about I just want to cry. <laughs> Two minutes and 27 seconds will stay with them for a lifetime. It was just something you don't forget, I guess. Just <laughs> the citizen scientists will be able to keep the equipment they were given. The director of the project said he hopes it will inspire them to stay engaged in astronomy and perhaps even consider careers as scientists. Margaret. Adriana, did you go eclipse shopping? I'm yes. looking at your dress yes. right there. <laughs> Yeah. Believe it or not, I owned this before. No, you didn't. No, you did not. <laughs> it is perfect, though. I, I got it say. when I lived in China. No, oh, really? We Thank were all you. commenting on it. It looks great. It is a perfect experience. It's not <laughs> now when, right? A yeah. purchase at the time, Adriana. Uh, but you know, Gail, you were just talking about the emotional reaction. Yes. You know, Instagram told us more than 50 million people were on during the eclipse. Wow. That's more than the Super Bowl. So, right. so many people just trying to capture the moment. And they did. They did. In the old days, it was just little pockets of people who would see it and yeah. you'd hear stories. Mm -hmm. So many. It was More a than sense ever. Of community yesterday, which I thought was nice. Yeah. That is I thought nice. it was nice.